Welcome to Generator, your view into the ever-evolving and vibrant art scene in Ireland today. In this episode, we profile Alan Doyle, the first of our exhibiting artists from Generator's second group show. We visit the bustling Rath Mines of Dublin to have a chinwag with Kira Scanlon and Matthew Nevin at their creative space mart. First up, we talk to Emily and Elaine, two members of the incredible aerial performance group, Paper Dolls. from Paper Dolls. So yeah, we're an aerial performance company based here in Dublin. We work with a lot of different types of artists as well. So we have aerial performance at the centre of what we do, but we kind of deal in installation and kind of physical installation, live performance art. Um, so it's a kind of unique take on contemporary circus. Shiver at the thought of him swarming around, expressionless yet cunning, with a hideous devout. We train here at Delight Studios and we came here August, August last year, not the no. year before. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah. And it's really nice to work here. It's a very um, creative like place it's very kind of inspiring place to work it's not ideal for training sometimes because it's cold and it's still a warehouse it's not as high as we'd like it but it's been really welcoming here and we've done a lot of work here a lot of good work yeah and it's lent itself to shows that we've put on as well so and that that really helps us create atmosphere within those performances as well Escape my only sister to the grave we must go One more forever after, one so forever more Sing my only sister to the grave we must be One more forever after, one so forever more is quite a rare thing in Dublin. We uh, have to travel quite a lot and that, that's really good for us, but the training spaces abroad, even though they're excellent training facilities, they're not as uh, conductive to, or conducive, should I say, to um, kind of creative inspiration. But when you're working in a place that has a lot of character um, and has different sorts of people traveling through it, doing different types of work, it's like really nice um, 
platform to, to be creative in. So it was myself, Elaine, Karen and Neve to start with. And once we got together to just actually get the training space off the ground and to bring our own level up to a professional standard where we could actually start to perform, um, uh, it was then it kind of just exploded and, and it was just like, it's just been like a juggernaut ever since we've just, we've done so many original productions in the last three years, it's unreal. And then we did Paper Dolls, it was like a self-titled show, which was like a really amazing project, but definitely once off because it was like 22 artists and we built a paper maze that filled this place called The Complex and it was a very unique kind of performance and that was for Dublin Fringe 2011. It was then the kind of three of us kind of uh, went on together um, and went on to do Constellations for uh, Fringe in 2012. Uh, which took the Spirit of the Fringe Award, which we were very proud about. And that was in collaboration with Wolf Bait, who are like a Dublin-based uh, kind of uh, negative psychedelic band. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a number of other people were involved in that production. So we, te we tend to work with a lot of different people. My name is Kira Scanlon and my name is Matthew Nevin <laughs> <laughs> and we run Mart. So we set up uh, in 2006 or seven, um, mainly through a website. We got some funding from the Arts Council and then did some exhibitions in Ireland, England, Europe and America um, for about six years and still had the website. We still do have the website online um, showcasing artists through mainly installation, performance, video, new media, digital kind of technology stuff. And then about two years ago, we decided to take over this building. Yeah. <laughs> met with the city council disposal section and had lots of meetings and because we were established already they trusted us and we took it over and then just spent months fundraising mm. yeah yeah and like friends loans of friends a microfinance loan yeah. <laughs> a very little public funding um i yeah. mean thank Dublin city council we did get some funding yeah. and this year we did get the workspace grant 
so that was great. So we have two galleries. Uh, we have our office, basically the mainframe or the control room for, <laughs> for Mark here. Um, and then we have two galleries at the front and one at the back. Mm. Um, the back gallery is completely dark space, so it's perfect for screenings, any kind of light work. And then the front gallery, we would have kind of more kind of sculpture and painting and uh, well, we're hoping somebody's going to come with some giant sculpture and want to show it there because it's such an amazing um, potential for showing big mm. works. So. And then upstairs we have eight studios, so th this is the house part. So we split, split it up, built all the partitions and they're really kind of quirky, kind of exposed brick. Um, nice, insulated. We spent like a lot of time doing it right because we wanted to, it to last. It's called Blue Monday and it's curated by Elle Putman. She's a studio artist. She's moved over from Boston about four, well, about in September she actually moved yeah, over. September, yeah. And she was part of Mobius Performance Art Group over in Boston. Hi, I'm Elle Putnam. I love having a studio at Mart. Um, it's kind of like my escape. In terms of the exhibition downstairs, um, I find a lot of times uh, in my artistic practice, I like to investigate an idea. And um, I've been really interested in works lately that, um, you know, are looking at everyday moments. But instead of trying to find um, what's wrong with it, I'm looking for works that are, I, I've really been interested in making works that um, find relief in those moments. Like instead of using art as this escapism from life, it's a way of uh, bringing me closer to life. And so, and this has happened before where I'll be investigating a theme in my own work, but I am interested in how other artists respond to this theme. And so that's usually when I, um, I like to curate group exhibitions because I'm really interested to see what other artists are producing, whether they're having similar thoughts and ideas as I am. Oh, no, no. We're doing monthly events in March, um, more kind of fundraiser events and we are working with uh, uh, Flame and June Records um, who are bringing in different bands every month and this month is called Payday because it's 31st of January so we're all waiting for the money to come in um, and it's Nanu Nanu and The Void. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's on the 31st here and it's a BYOB uh, fun event to kind of fundraise for us to get some heaters, <laughs> like, mainly. Yeah. So, go on. No, that's it. You've said everything. <laughs> <laughs>
sit down and just try and draw every day, all the time if I'm here, like, I'm usually drawing, so, either drawing or playing music, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, I, I think if I wasn't drawing, I'd probably go mad. <laughs> My name's Alan Doyle and I'm an artist based in Dublin. For years I was mainly just painting and not really drawing too much at all. Um, and then a few years ago, probably about four years ago or five years ago, uh, I moved into like a really small apartment and didn't have any space to paint at all. For a while I was doing these really small paintings, but uh, I mainly just started to draw because I could afford the materials because they were cheaper and also it require, required less like space and wasn't as messy and stuff so I just started drawing a lot more and I've, I haven't gone back to painting to the extent that I used to used to paint so much but I think now I think like I've, I've been living in this place for uh, maybe two or three months now and I've got a bit more space so I can I can kind of play around with what I'm putting into the work a bit more so I've been playing around with a little bit of paint and a bit more collage and stuff like that, you know? Just having a bit more fun because you have more room to have fun and be messy, you know? I generally always go back to like some kind of shape of a figure or a face or something like that. Even sometimes if I try and keep something more abstract, something starts to come out even if I'm trying for it not to so I just got like I was saying you just have to go with it and I think with some of the stuff I was doing the collage stuff I was doing was that's completely abstract and I like that because it's totally against it when I draw and it's figurative and stuff so that's fun It's a very primal image and like, you know, as old as mark making is, there's shapes of people and animals, so I guess it's ingrained in us, in our genes or something. Yeah, working with paper dolls was really good fun. It was really enjoyable. Wolf Bait um, got to perform with them, which was amazing. It was a really, really good experience to do. Because playing, playing music is really great fun. I love playing gigs, but playing, doing a performance like that was, as I think, something I've always been interested in, even you know, without really consciously trying to do anything like that. We just, we got asked after Emily saw us play, and um, we were all really excited at the idea of doing that. ways we've done things so it was it was really great to do that kind of performance and I'd I'd really like to to work as well with whatever Wolf Bait will be doing next I think when it comes to playing performing live or something like that, I'd really like to work on the performance aspect of that not not that we'll be doing any kind of choreographed dances or anything like that but uh, I like the idea of maybe performers being involved in that way somehow I think there's a, a lot of scope there for, for things anyway. I've wanted to make more kind of sculptural type things and that, I think making the dolls was kind of also, you know, I think I started to make them and then was like, oh yeah, I guess like working in 3D 
is, you know, it, 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 it's, it's really fun to see like something you make come together in all those different dimensions. But I really like the idea of trying to make some, some bigger things. But, uh, but you know, there's always a thing of like, I don't have the materials or the space or things like that, but I'm, I kind of decided I'm just gonna do what I can uh, with what I can and not let those kind of things prevent me from doing, like if I've got an idea to do something, I'm just gonna try and make it happen as best I can, so.